What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more My Hero Academia. Today we're doing Season 6, Episode 10. This one is called The Ones Within Us. I am very excited, obviously. The season has been amazing, but also very nervous with how last episode ended. I'm praying my boy Bakugo is okay. Hopefully you guys are as excited as I am. If you are, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Make sure to subscribe if you guys aren't. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Check out that Patreon for the full uncut versions, unedited versions, as well as early access to the other shows I'm watching. And don't forget to check out the other social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all the Dapper Darius. Much appreciated. Let's hop right on into it. My Hero Academia, Season 6, Episode 10. Let's do it. And immediately, no hesitation, without even thinking, his body moved on its own. I love the way he just heard this. We didn't even get to see it. He saved my boy, Deku. Don't try to win by yourself. Win by saving others. Yes, please make sure he's okay. Todoroki saving the day with Endeavor and Bakugo. It's my body. Is Tomura fighting back? Aizawa, Gran Torino, Crust. He did say that control. Yeah, controlling your heart, controlling your emotions. Are we going to get angry, boy? Oh, my God. Look at that face. Oh, my God. He's breaking through it. Oh, my. He doesn't even give a fuck. Oh, my God. He's in there, all for one. I finally touched you. Is he sucking it in? Is he actually doing it? What? What is going on? We're back in the corporeal realm. Shigaraki's in here as well. Or is that... Don't come out. Like, there's so much like related to Avatar, whether it's spirits, whether this is the alive consciousness of, which it definitely does seem like this is. This is the the spiritual the spiritual manifestation of Tomura with. Uh, all for one literally embedded himself in there because their powers are connected, but also like they're intertwined. It could, this is like some Avatar The Last Airbender type shit, which I know that's been referenced multiple times throughout the show, but it's like, I don't really even know what to think right now. This is my, like, I'm trying to go like, Tom, yes, Tomura, break free of him, do it. But then I'm like, no, Tomura, don't, but I don't know what I want. Nana Shimura? You can't move in this. The ones with us is the previous users. Oh my god, look at him just literally a, a, a fucking shockwave of destruction and rubble. See, that's how you know it's more than just his manifestation of his soul for uh, all for one. Like he's physically there. Yeah, which is sad. <laughs> That's kind of a bar. Ura Raka. The sun is currently covered as we speak. Is this going to be an actual confrontation between Nana and Tomura? It's your grandma. Is that so? I didn't... I didn't know that. Once in a blue moon, I have these strange dreams. So he what? Quirks have memories as well? So he could see previous memories from his quirks he would take? Consciousness is living inside of them. That is so interesting. You can get so deep and philosophical about that. This is going to be quite the confrontation. 
Everything that went wrong with his life from his dad stems to Nana. But she did it out of pure love, you know? A sleeper train. This is so interesting. This is so yes. He's decaying even the world within? We have... Bro, what the fuck is going on? Yes. Yeah, I'm asking the same question. I mean, he's making points, but obviously, all for one's a fucking ass. We're not gonna listen to him. Nah, he's the exact opposite. I get you're trying to get in our heads. It wasn't a mistake. I'm with little bro on this one. Ooh. Ooh. Tell him. Getting angry for others. For the sake of others. Tell him, little bro. With the music going on in the background? Come on. Anytime I would see this, this symbolic embodiment of their souls and their energy stockpiled and passed on, this means so much more now we've seen it built over seasons. Look at him just fucking dolphin dive. Okay. So we're back. What the hell happened though? It wasn't stolen. We were able to separate ourselves out of that. He needs the transference to be completed. So is this where he redraws or, or regroups and, and escapes? He's done. Deku is beyond done. Oh my god. I don't mean to pause it. I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of that during editing and rewatching of this episode. But just so next episode... Or when I do reactions or when I rewatch reactions of other people. Can you guys let me know exactly what happened in that corporeal realm in the comments down below? TLDR, don't make it too in-depth, but don't spoil anything for the future, obviously. You guys are always great when it comes to giving me bonus information that I miss out on. I appreciate that. I'm talking about the specific details when it comes to gathering memories from previous quirks and being able to meddle with that. Whereas One for All had the inverse when it came to his stockpiling and passing on that he was also able to meddle with some things. Just give me the specific details on the meddling. I would super appreciate that. Like, there was a lot that happened in this episode. Holy shit. Yeah, we could, as long as no one kills each other, we could have a deep philosophical conversation, debate about that. Okay, if you're cool with talking, we can sit down and talk about this, Togo. I'm down. That's what I'm saying, 100 kilometers an hour? Like, oh my lord. Oh, yep, you had a fucking skyscraper bomb. It's gone, like some Legos. Shouts out to the heroes, Loki, all of them, putting their lives on the line for these people. You gotta respect it. Now she actually has her full kit on, and now she's going, okay. It's always my favorite part about a, a villain squad, whether it's the Akatsuki, whether it's... The Phantom Troop, camaraderie and respect, loyalty between them, something I always appreciate, you know? You know when they play this song, we're about to do some heroic shit. He's in that bungalow, let's go. I always love how when it's Ryukyu, Su and uh, Uaraka are always there. They've been there for like the raid. They were there with Night Eye. They've been through some shit. Holy shit, Dashing Granny? 
What is this, Mob Psycho? That was slick. That was slick. And now she's gone, hidden in the shadows. Holy shit, that was slick, and this is scary. Can we just have a normal conversation, Toga? We don't have time for this. Uh, arrest you? Yeah. I mean, she must have killed that old lady to get her blood, and that is pretty sad. Some gunhead martial arts? Come on. Okay. Now I don't like two oh I don't like two ladies that like fighting, but you know, we gotta save some people. So I didn't watch the preview, I never do, but I did see that the next episode is called Dabby's Dance. And I don't know any spoilers. Uh I know one spoiler about this season and it has not happened yet. It has nothing to do with Dabby. So it's nothing to do, but I have been told by some select few people I know manga readers that uh, uh this has something about oh i can't wait for a dance or something about the dance something i i don't remember specifically but i know there's hypeness around a dance so just know i am eagerly awaiting next week's episode this episode was fantastic i was loving the uh, avatar all for one one for all stuff loving the tomura nana shimura everything stuff I'm really interested about what's going to happen with Toga and Uraraka. That's interesting to me, especially because we're getting into some philosophical questions that we've that we've brought up this season already when it was uh, Dabi talking to Tokoyami about, hey, your hero, Buddy Hawks, killed twice. You know, it's like the question of saving others for the for, you know, protecting your friends at the cost of others. You know, like this, that's a, there's a deep moral debate there that we could bring up and have over many many episodes and many many things and I, I do thoroughly enjoy that it's been a topic that's brought up multiple times in the show but I, like i said i don't want toga and uaraka to fight two girls that i like I like their characters if i had to choose one obviously i got to choose my girl uaraka but I, we just got shit hit in the fan that one i felt like a panel uh felt like a manga panel but that one scene of deku's face right after right before they went into that realm and he's like biting the force like you know what i'm trying to say that face was fucking insane oh my lord i don't know what else to say but this is just incredible right now i'm loving this so very very much hopefully you guys are as well if you are please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below don't forget to subscribe click that bell tune hey subscribe see you guys next week dabby's dance we're gonna be there we're gonna be there so we're gonna drink some water, tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.